Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzzweaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, pop culture, social media, technology, and items of interest that come up during the week that allow us to have a little bit of a dialogue. I want to welcome all of you guys from New Tech and of course all of you here on YouTube for your guys' continued support. We start things off from the New York Post. Ron DeSantis, Trump neck and neck in potential 2024 Michigan primary poll. A new poll shows former President Donald Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in a virtual tie among likely Republican primary voters in the battleground state of Michigan. A sign the 45th president may not cruise to the GOP nomination should he and DeSantis both run in 2024. The survey commissioned by the Detroit News and WDIV found that 45% of likely Republican voters in the state would vote for Trump, while 42% would back the Florida governor, well inside the poll's margin of error of plus or minus 4.4 percentage points. The poll also found that 12% of voters were undecided about whom they'd support, while 1% refused to answer. And in reality, ladies and gentlemen, it comes down to this. Now, if you're a follower of the Buzzweaver channel, you know we take the difficult we take the chaos, we take the confusion, we take the tumult, and we make it as simple as possible. So, as simple as possible as I can make it. If you ever hear a Democrat, the establishment, the deep state, Hollywood, the special interest, and activists suggest that a particular Republican would be a better president or a good president, you know immediately the red flag of them thinking they can influence, manipulate this individual to their whims. And that's essentially what we have seen. We have not seen the distinctive difference until President Trump was elected. Now, President Trump is a, basically a New York Democrat who is really a populist, right? He's an outsider. So when he came into office, he did not comply with or get along with the deep state or the establishment, as we like to call it. They sat him down. They said, Mr. President, here's how things are run. He said, no, I'm going to do it this way. And that's what started the whole entirety resistance movement, which created, of course, cancel culture, wokeness, and outrage mobs, and just a continuous bombardment of hatred towards President Trump. So we can see the distinction because now we know when we saw Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan run, we definitely saw where Mitt Romney is and Paul Ryan, right? We can make the distinctions now after Trump and John McCain and Sarah Palin. We can make very clear distinctions there as well between those four individuals and President Trump. And I think Ron DeSantis could make a very good president. My question about Ron DeSantis is he is still a politician, and so he is subjected and susceptible to forms of manipulation and coercion by the deep state where President Trump is absolutely resistant to it. Now, let me illustrate what I mean here. And that is here from the Hill, House Democrats tout bill to add four seats to Supreme Court. Why is that? Because they are unsatisfied. As you guys know, here on the channel, excuse me, on the channel, you know that it's not about the Constitution. It's not about the Bill of Rights. It's not about our laws. It's about outcomes, outcomes. And when an outcome does not fit the expectations of the Democrats, the deep state, the outrage mobs, wokeness, and cancel culture, they want to change things to give themselves power back. So as you see here, a group of House Democrats called for legislation on Monday that would add four seats to the Supreme Court, lamenting an ultra white wing branch that just overturned the Roe versus Wade decision on abortion rights. The eight lawmakers cite recent Supreme Court decisions that roll back Miranda writes throughout a new or throughout a New York gun control law and allowed religion to service in schools. Oh my gosh, no way. As well as a Dobbs versus Jackson's women's health decision that overturned the right to abortion in Roe and saying there was a need to add new justices to the court. And you see here from Representative Hank, we sink the island Johnson. The lead sponsor of the 2021 Judiciary Act called the current makeup a Supreme Court at crisis with itself and with our democracy, where basic freedoms are under assault from the 6-3 conservatives who uh, 
uh, super majority on the bench. So clearly, ladies and gentlemen, I say that with uh, a bit of uh, exaggeration and sensationalizing because it, it serves to illustrate my point that it is about control. It is about the Democrats having total and complete control. And we saw that also with President Biden, who, as we understand today, as of this recording on Thursday, has come down with COVID. And that is that he would bully companies into thinking that if they did not take the jab, then people would lose their jobs. And that was not enforceable. So it is a form of manipulation. It is a form of just the Democrats looking for power. I apologize for my voice today. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I got a little bit of a cold coming down, but I feel fine overall. But nonetheless, guys, that's what I had for you on this Friday. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap it up for this Friday vlog. Thank you for the likes, the shares, and the comments. Below this video, you can find the various social media links that I belong to, where you can see my daily post, as well as the Amazon link. If you guys are Prime members or order frequently from Amazon, you guys can use that link, go to the landing page, and search for what you're looking for. And of course, it helps out the channel. Here in 2022, thank you for the likes, the shares, for those on New Tech, as well as here on YouTube, and appearing right there on the screen for all of you watching on YouTube, that would be the channel icon. You can click on that to subscribe as well as to select notifications. That way you know when there's content here on the channel. And I'll see all you guys right there behind that camera next week.